Hey guys, SC Blizzard here, and in case you were wondering what my score was for that last Battlefield game, there it was right there, I don't know if you got a good glimpse of it, but I think it was 9 and 5, I don't really know. I'm not amazing at Battlefield like I said in the last video, but um, being that I am both a Call of Duty and Battlefield player, it kind of, it's, it's kind of like a good gameplay for Battlefield is or a good p gameplay for Call of Duty is not the same as a good gameplay for Battlefield. A 2.0 KD is not super amazing in Battlefield, at least, um, in my, not really in my opinion. I mean, I still think that I do well, I still think that it's a decent game, but I feel like you guys don't think the same way that I do. So, this, this was the next game. I played a couple games of carrier assault and I was having some fun and I got them both recorded somehow share setting thank you Jesus for share setting <laughs> and uh, I decided to just um, go ahead and share this gameplay it was really fun and I decided to play support this game I don't know if uh, I don't think I was playing as support this first death but I did go ahead and switch to support and I did somewhat well, yeah, I'm using Assault, I'm using the AEG, and I do somewhat well, but, um, I turn around after I get this first kill, and then I get killed, yeah, from behind right away, and so, yeah, kind of what I wanted to talk about was, real quick, I wanted to touch on, like, what I said in the last Battlefield video, this channel was made to kind of show you guys our gameplay, as well as kind of interact with you guys as much as possible. I want to be that guy that interacts with people as much as possible. Um, I know it seems like it's going to be really hard, and I know that I'm kind of underestimating most famous people, and I do understand that it's very hard for them to interact with most people. I can understand it, but, you know, and I hate whenever I try and pick up this stuff, it just drops it, like I hold triangle, picks it up, and then I let go, and it drops it right away, but, um, I have this new, I have that new app, Boom Beach, and I just wanted to touch on that, um, I kind of wanted to be able to record it for you guys, just to mess around, because it seems kind of like an interesting, fun game, but I don't have a, um, I don't have an iPad recording app thing, so if you guys happen to know any recording things for recording an iPad or something, please let me know. I really want to be able to record it. I have other games besides that. Boom Beach was made by the same people that made uh, Clash of Clans, so I've, I feel like there should be some kind of clan capability, but I don't know how to do it. So if you guys know anything about this app, I would be happy to listen in on what you guys can tell me like if you guys can give me tips or something but anyway back to battlefield i decided to play um well actually let's go back to boom beach if you guys happen to know of a clan capability then go ahead and tell me and i'll try and set something up to where we can play that game together anyway um i don't i i Tip number one, whenever you're using an LMG in this game, never put on muzzle brake, especially if you have bipod. It's not going to help at all. It actually does a negative effect. It reduces the accuracy. In case you guys don't know what a muzzle brake does, um, it reduces recoil, but at the same time, it widens your bullet spread. So heavy barrel does the exact opposite. It increases recoil, but it also makes your gun... A lot more accurate and you'd think well what's the point of having more recoil but the gun being more accurate depending on how much recoil the gun actually has a heavy barrel is very beneficial the AUG I put on a heavy barrel and a potato slash W grip and it is very accurate I plan on putting a heavy barrel on all my LNGs that have a bipod I was working on trying to get the AWS so I have to level up my support class to get C4 or mortar, whichever one can destroy vehicles, I need to hurry up and get that as soon as possible. I mean, not whichever one can, because they both can, I'm pretty sure. But I'm trying to just get both of them so I can hurry up. And 
like I said just a minute ago, I, I don't know if I'm using the muzzle brake right now, but uh, I, I do use the muzzle brake, and to be very honest, yeah, I think I'm using it now, because I should have gotten those kills so easily, but I get murdered right away. Um, don't put muzzle brake on weapons with bipod, um, especially support class. Uh, I think I can tell you right now that most assault rifles don't work very well with heavy barrel, but they do work somewhat well with muzzle brake. Um, AG has, like, almost no recoil. It's perfectly fine if you don't have, um, a muzzle brake on it, or if you put on heavy barrel. I, my favorite gun in this game is the M416. I think it's my most used one besides the Scar H because my, the Scar H is my favorite weapon. Um, I I have unlocked everything for both those guns, and I'm trying to get all the stuff unlocked for all the assault rifles. I'm trying to get everything unlocked for uh, Battlefield and. At the same time on Call of Duty, I'm trying to get chem strikes with every single weapon. So, uh, I think I'm gonna try and start like a weapon review thing, kind of like, um, like a show you guys the stats of weapons and tell you and give you guys gameplays, tell you, um, what the, what the guns are best used for. And yeah, right here my controller died, but I got it fixed right away. I got the charger, I think it dies again, and then I go to get a charger, so, um, sorry about that, but it should be fixed in just a second, I come down here, yeah, see, and then I get a charger, but right now I'm using the Type 88 LMG, and it's a decent weapon, um, either put a heavy barrel or a, uh, a standard barrel on it, flash hider if you happen to have that, I don't, I think LMGs can have flash hiders. I don't. I don't remember specifically. I don't have all the attachments unlocked for it, so I'm trying to mess around with it and get some support stuff. I don't play with support very often. I usually use assault. Uh, I have a lot. I have a few recon service stars, and I'm working on engineer. I think I do have my first engineer service star, but I'm at like service star nine with the assault class. I use assault way too much. It's been my favorite class since Battlefield 3. Um, there we go. Now my controller is working. So, put either a standard barrel or a heavy barrel on your LMGs. Always put on a bipod. No reason to run a foregrip. The, the objective for a support class is to stay back. Um, not, not go on the front lines. Just stay back and, and provide suppressive, uh, cover fire. Just stay back and shoot people from a long distance. Heavy barrel is going to help out with that a lot. So the bipod as well is going to keep you ready. I was using the suppressor on this just to see what happened. And it did work out quite a bit. But, you know, it's 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 definitely not the best attachment for it. Uh, when I get heavy barrel, I'll let you guys know. And um, no reason to put on a foregrip. Always keep on a bipod. And then put on a one time sight of your choice and then put on a two times zoom unless uh... you feel like you're confident that nobody's gonna try and flank around you or anything mess with you and i have horrible accuracy right there um, if you're confident that nobody can flank around you or mess with you from behind then go ahead and put on a ACOG or a uh... just a just a more than a two times zoom, a mid-range scope, I'll call it, uh, ACOG or whatever you guys prefer. Go ahead and put on a mid-range sight. It's gonna help out in the long run. Um, this is the way that a support class is supposed to be played. And eventually, I do get on the boat, and it's a little bit more difficult to play like this whenever you're in the carrier. Uh, I get up on the balcony and I try and set up my bipod, and I just. I just wait for people to come in the doors and I get a few more kills. I don't remember my KD for this game, but I do believe that it was below a 2.0. I'm trying to work on getting a higher KD. I played a game a couple days ago that I didn't get recorded. I forgot to record it. Um, I got a fifth. I went 15 and 2. And um, I don't know if it was just the fact that my enemies were dumb or like just 
just they didn't know how to play Battlefield at all, or if it was just that I was actually playing the game correctly, and I don't usually play the game correctly, so it was probably the fact that my enemies were bad, so I wish I had gotten that recorded. I'm trying to learn how to play a little bit more aggressively, and like, uh, with my assault class anyways, with my assault or engineer class, I'm trying to learn how to play a little bit more aggressively to, uh, get a higher KD. Uh, like I said in the last video, last time I checked, it's 1.18, and so I'm trying to get it up to a 2.0, trying to match War Freak, <laughs> and so far listening to his tips along with X Factor and Level Cap, I don't play with those guys, um, I just watch their videos, um, getting tips from them has been very helpful, but that's... That's pretty much all I have to say about Battlefield. Thank you guys for watching this Battlefield video. Now I'm going to kind of move on. I I just realized a couple days ago that my game capture... I don't need component cables for capturing Xbox uh, Xbox 360 gameplay. So I plan on getting some Black Ops 2 videos out to you. I'm not the best Black Ops 2 player, but I, I started getting good at Call of Duty whenever Black Ops 2 came out. I... I can also, on. Um, I think I'm also going to try and do some MW3 and MW2 gameplays on PS3 soon. Um, maybe not right away, but after I start getting into this system of using my game capture, I will then go ahead and give you guys some gameplay. But it's just what you guys want to see. I don't want to, I don't want to throw out some gameplay that you guys aren't, uh, like you guys aren't. Not 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 comfortable with watching, but like you guys don't want to watch it. Like um, a lot of people say, don't record what you don't like, or like don't record a game that you don't really prefer. And quite honestly, I really do prefer Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 2, and all the other Call of Duties. But you know, getting negative feedback or like getting no feedback at all is actually quite worse to me than getting negative feedback. Um, because negative feedback, I at least know that somebody is taking time out of their day to view the video or watch it, where, um, getting no feedback at all is kind of difficult. Like, that's kind of why I like YouTube, because it shows, like, the views of videos and stuff, and, um, but yeah, like I said, I plan on doing, uh, some Black Ops 2 for you guys on Xbox, uh, maybe some open lobbies with you guys if you want, uh, I still have room on my friends list so uh, figured I'd bring that up and uh, play some Modern Warfare 3 I haven't started in W3 on my Blizzard account yet um, like I said I used to be Beethoven 851 that was my old gamer tag and then we created Sub-Zero Gaming or Convolution Gaming now and so it is now uh, SC Blizzard I just call myself SC Blizzard, um, so I haven't started on MW3, I did like two games of MW2 and did pretty well, and I may start on Black Ops as well, so go ahead and leave you guys' back on what all you guys want to see, and I'll try and give you guys some gameplays for each and every one of those games, depending on whether or not you guys want to see it. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. I'll let you guys go ahead and watch the rest of the stats and stuff. Um, but again, thank you for watching. Like this video if you enjoyed. It really helps us out. It supports the video itself, and it really helps our channel grow. As well as subscribing if you are new to this channel. Um, just, just support this channel in any way you can by just clicking that button. It also uh, makes you more aware of future uploads like a what what's next and I do plan on getting out some good gameplays for you guys that is pretty much it thank you guys for tuning in until next time give them a commotion peace